everybody, my name is the Just Reaper, and welcome back to another Minecraft Modern Warfare tank tutorial. And today we are doing the CV-90 Swedish Infantry Fighting Vehicle. This is a quite commonly seen vehicle, especially amongst um, most uh, tank video games, for example. Uh, tank Force, if you've played that. Um, it's a mobile game, definitely go check that out, very fun. I plan maybe to even do some gameplay of it here on the channel over Steam because you can get a version of it on Steam as well. But um, anyway, the CV-90, great vehicle, very multi-purpose, definitely one of the best infantry fighting vehicles I've seen personally, and I think my personal version here that I've built couldn't have turned out any better. So I hope you all enjoy this. This was a requested vehicle. Let's just take a quick look at the uh, info. So, Origin was in Sweden, class is a military fighting vehicle, produced 1993 to today. There's the number built from what I found, which is actually not a very high number, only 1200. Couldn't find when it was designed. It takes a crew of three, plus the ability to carry up to eight troops. Quite surprising. Speed is 43.5 miles per hour. Its main armament is a 40mm Bofors autocannon. And its secondary arms is a 7.62mm KSP M39 machine gun with six 76mm grenade launchers. <clears throat> so, yeah, I think this turned out quite well. And this is our second Swedish tank. Um, well, not for the channel itself, but I am personally happy to start adding at least another vehicle to Sweden. Well, there are still plenty of nations here that need work. Like, Italy, I still have to get around to put something in Italy. China still needs something. Uh, France is lacking behind. I just recently got, like, four or five Japanese tank requests. All from one dude. If you're watching this, Jaguar, you know who you are. You're, I'm, you're something else, man. But, uh, yeah, expect there's going to be a lot of tank requests coming up lately. So, um... Yeah, I'm going to be quite busy. So I hope you all enjoy this tutorial, and let's get right into it. Alright, so starting off with layer 1, we're going to want to have stone brick slab, green concrete, item frame, stone button, dark oak wood stairs, stone slab, dark oak wood slab, and iron trap door. I've already started by placing down the left side tracks, so what we're going to do is we're just going to build off of that. So you're going to have a row of two stone, uh, stone brick bottom slabs, followed by two top slabs in front of it. Then we're going to do green, a row of two green concrete behind that, skip a row of two, do another two, skip another two, do another two, skip another two, and do another two. <clears throat> we're going to take our dark oak wood stairs and we're going to do our generic wheel design using stairs. I'm so glad I'm able to do this. Thank you for stairs, Minecraft. Um, once you've done that, you should have exactly seven wheels. Once you have your seven wheels, we're going to just take our stone buttons, put a stone button on the outsides of the green concrete with an item frame right underneath of the stairs, like that. So once you've done that, go to the back of the tracks, do, a bottom, do two bottom slabs of stone brick, and then we're going to do two top slabs. Once we've done that, we can take our dark oak wood slabs, do a row of three top slabs right here, <clears throat> and we can do a row of three top slabs right here as well, followed by three iron trap doors off the, front, off the front of that. Fill this all up with stone slabs. Should be three wide, and now we're going to finish the other side tracks now, just by replicating exactly what we did on the other side over to here. Oh, I forgot to mention, sadly this has no interior. So, this, this is going to be a very plain tutorial today. So once you have that, we're going to do the buttons and the item frames yet again. There we go, and with that we are done layer one. Very simple, very straightforward. <clears throat> now that you see what you need, let's just move on to layer two.
All right, so moving on to layer two, what we're going to do is we're going to take our stone brick stairs and on the front of the tracks, on the top, do two stairs here and two stairs here, backs facing toward the back, and on the back of the tracks, on the top, reverse and do the same thing here toward the rear. Um, <clears throat> let me see what we're doing here. I need to be sure of what I'm doing. What is that in there? Stone break stair? Oh. Okay. I see. Let me just fix that. Alright, so. We're gonna just run to take our stone brick stairs, and we're gonna do it upside down like that. On the insides. Run our green concrete all the way up the inside like this. All the way to about here, I wanna say. Alright, no, no. Oh well, no, we have to do the stair. We have to do the stair here. <clears throat> Copy under this side, everything else. Like that. <clears throat> Let me see what we need to do here. We'll take our spruce wood stairs, do two upside down stairs here on the back. Grab our nether brick stairs. We can do two stair. We can do a stair like this. And I'm sure you can fill up everything on the inside here anyway. So I'm just going to take my world edit axe or my wand. We're going to come out to about here. <clears throat> and we're going to do uh, beautiful. So you just fill up from flush back there all the way up to about here on top of the iron trap doors. Next we can grab our dragon heads, spruce stairs, our sign, our brown shulker box, and that should be about what we need. So we're going to start by placing a shulker box here, 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 and here. Let's copy that to the other side, here, 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 and here. Take our spruce wood stairs and just kind of place them with the backs of the stairs against the shulker box on both sides. Like that. And like that. We can take our signs and cover up all the stairs with blank signs. We go go to the other side copy that <clears throat> just like that now what we can do is actually my mistake we don't cover up these two stairs because we need to put the dragon heads here so what we're actually going to do is we're going to be removing all of this and put in some placeholders we're going to place our dragon heads inward like this, and this is going to be like the extra add-on, um, like containers and stuff like that. They're just going to work as that, and then we can replace the wheel. There we go. Once we've done that, come to the rear of the tank. We're going to need dark oak wood slabs. Like that like that with a another brick stair right there and all we're gonna need now is just our wooden trap doors do two here and close them down like that and two here on this side close them down and with that I think oh well can't miss the front gonna grab our dark oak wood slabs or slab gonna put it upside down I mean, a top slab right here and then an upside down stair here and one here and that'll make the front of your tank. And with that, we are done layer two. So now that we're done with layer, th layer two, let us move on to layer three. All right, so moving on to layer three, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our iron trap doors and we're just going to run seven across the top front right here. That's gonna be like the front descent of our frontal armor. We're going to need some sandstone slab, sandstone stair, dark oak wood slab, 
Spruce wood slab. Oh, can't replace that. <clears throat> spruce wood slab. Spruce wood stair. Dark oak wood stair. Dark oak wood slab. So what we'll do first is we're gonna place our sandstone slab here. Dark oak wood slab here on top of the shulker box. Sandstone stair there. Spruce wood stair there. Two spruce wood slabs here. We're gonna do a nether brick stair here. Actually, we're gonna do two of them. <clears throat> then four nether brick slabs like that. Then two here. Just making sure. Okay. We're gonna put a dark oak wood stair here, one here, <clears throat> and a dark oak wood, uh, a block of dark oak wood right here. Do two dark oak wood slabs here, and we're gonna grab our green shulker boxes and do two shulker boxes right there as extra containers. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're gonna need our green terracotta. And we can basically cover everything up here in green terracotta from the from those stairs all the way back to about here. So we can set 15913. 15913. We can grab our stone buttons. <clears throat> do a stone button here, 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 oh, here, and here. So we kind of just want to skip a space every time. Just like that. And to the very back, we're going to do a block of nether brick here and here. Block of what here? Need to be sure I'm doing everything correctly here. We need our green terracotta. We're actually going to do two more here. Button off the side here. Button off the side here. Grab our green shulker boxes. Doing that correctly? No, I'm not. It has to be the other way in. <clears throat> so you have to be facing inward to each other so that you cannot open them. Though so it's not particularly necessary, just do it however you wish, but I prefer to not be able to open them. Unless you're going to be doing a survival in a tank, then this would actually be the perfect tank because you have storage all over. Put two ladders on the backs of these spaces here. Those are going to be the vents. We're going to need our spruce wood planks. We're going to do two spruce wood planks here, actually. Replace those previous two green terracotta. Put, in, put a button there. Put another brick block here. And what else do we have to do for this layer? We may actually be done with this layer. By the looks of it. <clears throat> We are indeed. Alright, so now that we're done with layer 3, let's move on to layer 4. Alright, so moving on to layer 4, what we're going to do is we're going to take our daylight sensors, and we're going to do three daylight sensors here, three here, two here, two here, one here, and one over there, another one, and another one. And I think I'm doing that correctly. Okay, so actually we're gonna break this one and this one on this side, and you want you want the sensors to look like that. Convert that one to a blue sensor. Okay, just making sure I'm doing everything here. Stone brick stairs, gonna put a stair here and a stair here with a green terracotta right in the center. did not do an interior to this, so so it's gonna be a little bit awkward doing this thing. This is a very mis like a very weirdly shaped turret. I'm gonna do a dark oak wood stair here, and then one curved on the side. Take our green terracotta, run it over like that, as it would seem. Then do a row of five here. Is it? I, I think that's what I'm supposed to do here. Yes. I'll buy another row of five, then another row of five. Okay, so I gotta do two more rows of five here. So that's one, two. Okay, so once we've done that, we can take our sandstone stairs, do two 
stairs here. Grab our nether brick, I mean not nether brick, our dark oak wood stairs. Run five across the back of the turret like this. Grab our dark oak wood slabs, put a slab here, and I want to assume put one here. False yeti, oh wait, no, 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 my mistake. I gotta make sure I'm doing everything correctly here. Alright, so I'm gonna need this, this, and this. We're gonna take our stone slabs, do two here, three dark oak wood slabs here, two nether brick slabs here, three dark oak wood slabs here, three dark oak wood slabs here, with a stone slab in the center. Grab our stone brick slabs, do two here. Grab our daylight sensors, do three, one, do three of them here. Grab our nether brick slabs, do two here. Grab our dark oak wood stairs, do one here. Curve it like this, or the side. Grab our dark oak wood uh, slabs, do two here. I'm messing up quite frequently right now with naming my materials. Going to need shulker boxes. All right, we'll head back over to here. We're gonna do three shulker boxes right here facing the front. Do three over here as well. Uh, what else do I need to do here? Let me go check the other side of the turret. Going to grab our dragon head and we're going to take our spruce wood stairs. Going to do a stair here, an upside down stair right behind that. Take our dragon head and put it in on an angle like that. That's going to be our second grenade launcher, I think. I can't remember whether I made that as a grenade launcher or what. We're going to actually make this a dark oak wood stair underneath for whatever reason I did that. I don't know why. Take our stone slabs and we're going to do. Actually, I can probably see from underneath. Oh, I actually guessed it right. Okay. We're going to do a top slab of stone slab here, followed by another one in front of that. Take our iron trap doors. We're going to go forward. One, two, three, four. Stone slab at the end of that. At the end, I said. And with that, I think we're actually done layer four. So now that we're done with layer four, Let's move on to our final layers of layer 5, 6, and 7. Alright, now moving on to our final layers, we're going to take our iron trapdoor, put an iron trapdoor at the end of the gun like that. I'm going to grab, actually we'll put an iron trapdoor here as well. Come over here, grab our green carpet, put four green carpet on the top of the gun like that. I'm going to grab our skeleton skull. Put a backwards skull right here. Those will be the optics. Grab a wooden trapdoor. Put a trapdoor right here. Grab a green terracotta. Put one right there. Put a backwards facing skull on the top of that. Like that. Grab our dark oak wood slabs and our dark oak wood stairs. We're going to do what looks like two dark oak wood slabs on the top. No, that's three, then, okay. Three dark oak wood slabs, a dark oak wood stair, curve that stair on the side. Grab our daylight sensors, put two normal sensors here. Close that. Going to grab our spruce wood stairs. And do two here. Okay, wait. You do one, you do one here, curve it to the side, and then do one here. Oh wait, no. Alright, so you place two normal like this, and this one will curve toward the back. That's how I did it. Alright, so we're going to take that, we're going to take our spruce wood slabs, and we're just going to make a block out of it, or you just use the block itself. I'm just improvising at the moment. Take our iron trapdoor, put an iron trapdoor on the top of that. <clears throat> we're going to put a stone slab here. Dark oak wood slab here. Dark oak wood slab here. Two nether brick... No. Two nether brick slabs here, two nether brick slabs here, two here, dark oak wood slab right there in the center, 
put a cobblestone wall in the center there. Grab our iron bars, go up two like this. Back here, go up two off of this block. One, two. At least I'm sure it's that block. Nope, it's the stair next to it. One, two, break those two. Going to grab our shulker box, put a shulker box here and here. Grab our another, uh, not another brick, our sandstone stairs. Put a normal stair here and here, and then an upside down stair in the middle like that. And next we have to just do our final step here by taking, okay, we're gonna take some light blue stained glass pane, and we're going to need an item frame. Put an item frame on the front of this. Put a light blue stained glass pane in there. And that's gonna be your optics as well. And with that, we are done the CV-90 Swedish Infantry Fighting Vehicle. I was in a bit of a rush just to get this done because, you know, whatever. I don't, like, today's a busy day for me right now, so I wanted to rush and get this out. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you make good use of this tank. Um, and yeah, if you have any requests for any vehicles you wish to see, please leave them in the comments below. I'll be sure to check them out. I'm going to be leaving links to my Discord, Twitter, and Instagram in the uh, description. Uh, you can go check those out. I don't really do too much on my Twitter or my Instagram, but they are there if you wish to follow me and see if I post anything at all. So, again, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.